Hi everyone, Colin Whitenack with Colin and Company powered by Keller Williams. Thanks for tuning in to a special bow tie edition of video. This is at the request of Evan. You're welcome, big guy. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about relocations. Why? Because I think about 80% of my business over the last few years has been relocation referrals, which I love getting. Okay, and these are all based on observations that I've made from these buyers over the years. All right. So first, obviously, don't be afraid to start with a Google search. Search the obvious, but get creative, too. Right. If um, having a nice neighborhood, local bar is great. You know, you can search on that. I did a search on coolest bar in Denver to get a Manhattan um, between Yelp, Foursquare, Westward, 5280. I got dozens of recommendations and was probably introduced to at least a dozen neighborhoods. So it's kind of a neat place to start. Second of all, and I am assuming people are contacting an agent for these, even if you're not buying right away, agents are great resources to get to know the city. It's also a good relationship to make. Um, make sure you're working with an agent who's been there for a long time or maybe even is from there, all right? And has been in the business for a while. I can tell you that I am born and raised in Denver, but I know the city and all the spots, whether it's parks, schools, um, places to eat a lot, lot better ever since I got into real estate. All right. And make sure they're also going to take you the time to drive you around. When I do showings for relocations, I don't just go from house to house to house. That's one type of scheduling. I put a lot of time in between them because we're going to go to a house and then we're going to drive to all the important stuff around there to the clients. Okay. Make sure they're going to take the time to do that. Um, then make sure you select your advisors wisely. All buyers have some advisors, you know, friends, family, kind of bouncing ideas off of. Um, I have found that relocation buyers oftentimes tend to get a lot more to the point where they're almost confused themselves. And I think this happens because they're kind of talking to somebody who's experiencing a different area. You know, if, if you're moving here from Arizona, you might, you know, and you're used to that architecture, you might miss out on some of our great architecture here. It's a little bit different. If you're moving from a big city where all like the nightlife and cultural stuff is downtown, you might miss some of our great neighborhoods that have got a lot of that. Much respect to downtown, especially Union Station, thanks to whoever did that. Um, and then in the end, still don't be afraid to trust your gut. As long as you spend the time gathering the information, even if you're not looking at the list of positives and negatives, you know, your brain's gonna kind of sort it out and you're gonna have a gut feeling of where you wanna go. And in my experience, the clients who go with their gut are the happiest for longest, okay? I know this is a bit longer of a video, so thanks for bearing with me. I hope it was really helpful, especially to anybody who's thinking about relocating anywhere in the near future. If you do know somebody relocating, I would love to help them in Denver. If they're going somewhere else or if you're going somewhere else, I can certainly find you a referral. Thanks for watching this. I hope you stay cool. I know it's really hot out there right now, and I'll talk to you really soon.